Good day, everybody. Hope you are doing great today. Today, we are going to talk about how to calculate confidence interval for the population proportion. So here I go. A survey found that out of 200 workers, 168 said they were interrupted three or four times an hour by phone messages. Find the 90% confidence interval for the population proportion of workers who are interrupted three or four times an hour. Okay, so we have some sample data. Okay, so let me change the color of the solution. Sample information. Given. Okay. X. In this case, number of successes in statistics language. Here in this case will be number of people interrupted x is given as 168 so success is to get interrupted which does not look correct but that is the way this problem is formulated n is the sample size, which is given as 200, okay? So, we have been asked to calculate 90% confidence interval for the population proportion population proportion of people who are interrupted, who are interrupted. Okay, so we'll move this up, create a little bit of space. So, we will go, we are going to use the calculator, okay? So use TI because this is the quickest way to calculate this problem or to do the number crunching for the confidence interval, okay? Please do not quit right away because I'll give you some important tip at the end of this program, which is not too long. Okay, so use to uh, TI-84. So how are we going to use this? Press the STAT button. Then highlight tests on the top row. Highlight means move the cursor on top of test, put it on test and hit enter. So STAT button. Then highlight test on the top row, okay? Then we will have to scroll down with the down arrow key. Move the cursor down in the test screen. So what we we'll keep scrolling down till we see A, which is one prop. Prop is the short form of proportion. Z, int, int is the sh short for interval. This stands for one proportion Z interval. Okay, hit enter. Enter. After we come down to A, hit enter. Okay. Now on the screen, 
they ask for X. We already identified X as the smaller number. It is 168. It is the number of successes. In this case, number of people who are interrupted. So it is 168. So type 168. Then it asks for N, okay, which in this case is 200. So type 200 to the right of colon on N. And our C level is the confidence level. We have been asked to calculate a 90% confidence interval for population proportion, which is 0 0.9 in decimal. So type 0 0.9 next to the C level and then go down to calculate and hit enter. Hit enter only once, okay? So after typing point nine in the C level, go down to calculate and hit enter. And we will see two numbers on the calculator screen. 0 0.797 is the lower bound for the 90% confidence interval and 0 0.883 is the upper bound. So what do these two numbers mean? It means with 90% confidence, we can state that the actual population proportion of people who are of workers who are interrupted by phone messages, etc will fall between 0 0.797 and 0 0.883. So with 90% confidence, this is important. We can state that the actual population proportion of workers who are interrupted will fall between 0.797 and 0.883. What is this 90% confidence? Suppose we collect 100 samples. In each of these samples of size 200, we ask how many people are interrupted every hour by phone messages. So we have 100 samples of size 200 and we will get 100 different values of x. So we will calculate 100 population intervals, confidence intervals, 90% confidence interval. Out of this 100 confidence interval, 90 intervals will contain the actual population proportion. The remaining 10 out of 100 intervals will not contain the actual population proportion. This is the hint or tip I wanted to give you that the 90% confidence level means or 90% confidence level means that out of 100 intervals, 90 intervals will contain the actual population proportion. The remaining 10 intervals will not contain the population proportion. Okay, that's all for today. If you like this video, please, everybody give me a thumbs up many, many thumbs up that really motivates me to excel, to do more problems just for you. So please give me many, many thumbs up. Please write me some good comments. I'll reply to your comments. And if you like this video, share with your friends, you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of your screen. And please let YouTube know that you'd like to be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, please do not forget to check me out because I'll be back tomorrow with another interesting problem. Again, see you tomorrow and thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. 
See you tomorrow.